everybody, so welcome back to my channel, Joseph the Explorer, and I'm so glad to be back to explore some interesting places today. Today, 20th November, is celebrated many parts of the world as Thanksgiving Day, especially US and Canada. So I wish all of my friends there a very happy Thanksgiving Day. Because as you know, Christmas and uh, New Year is around the corner. So there are certain marketplaces in Mumbai which are so popular during Christmas and New Year. So we're going to explore this marketplace. And uh, prior to that, before that, I want to show you something special. Yes, friends, uh, before anything, I want to show you something special. I want to, we are going to explore Mumbai's first underground metro line. Yes, there are several metro lines, elevated metro lines in Mumbai. But this one is special because this is the first underground metro line in Mumbai, which is being constructed in different phases. And first phase of the project has been completed and opened to public last month, October 2024. That we are going to explore today, so stay tuned. Friends, uh, right now I am in Marol, M-A-R-O-L, Marol, Andheri. Marol is a neighborhood in Andheri. Those who don't know about Andheri, Andheri is a suburb on the western line of Mumbai Suburban Railway. And this particular line, uh, uh, metro line, underground metro line is also called Aqua Line or uh, Mumbai Metro Line 3 is in Marol. That's why I am in Marol. So we are heading straight to this metro line station. So stay tuned. Uh, friends, this is uh, Marol Naka. This is Marol Naka and uh, you can see the boat uh, Marol Naka Metro 1 but this is the elevated metro line station but this is not uh, this is not the one we are heading for our station metro station is next to this one this is the elevated metro station Marol Naka metro station but our underground metro station uh, that's called uh, Aqua Line or uh, Mumbai Metro Line 3 is next to this one but this particular road is called uh, Handeri Ghat Copper Link Road. You can see the board. Handeri Ghat Copper Link Road is one of the busiest highways in Mumbai. So congested always. This is Handeri Ghat Copper Link Road. Connecting Handeri with Ghat Copper. And uh, here is one. Uh, Techno Marol Naga Metro Station. This is the elevated metro line. Uh, this has started uh, several years back. This is the elevated metro line. It's also called uh, Marol Naka. Techno Marol Naka Metro Station. You can see the board. Techno Marol Naka. This is the elevated metro line. And uh, we are going to explore the underground metro line. It's also called uh, Aqua Line. That is here. Just next to this Marol Naka Metro Station. This is Marol Naga and uh, this is uh, underground metro line called uh, uh, this is also Marol Naga but it's called uh, Aqua Line. You can see the board Aqua Line also called uh, Metro Line 3. This we are going to explore this one underground metro station uh, metro line today. This is the underground metro station metro line called uh, Aqua Line or Mumbai Metro Line 3. So I will take a pass a ticket from here. So, Going down. I have a ticket. Ticket. First of all, this is really underground. <laughs> Pass ticket. This is uh, this metro line station is called Marol Naka metro station. Uh, from here, I'm heading to uh, Bandra Kurla Kambras BKC. That's the last stop. That's the last stop, and uh, let's go. Plateau number one, and uh, I'm heading to BKC. This is the Marol Naka uh, metro line, uh, coil line station. And uh, from here, I'm heading to BKC. And you can see the board Kotak BKC here. This is the plateau number one of Marol Naka metro station, underground metro station. And uh, so beautiful, isn't it? It's also called uh, RAJVLR. You can see the RAJVLR. And uh, from here. This is not uh, RAJVLR, this is Marol Naka 
where I'm starting my journey and ending here at the BKC Bandra Kurla Complex. You can see the Bandra Kurla Complex, Kotak Bandra Kurla Complex. And uh, this is my this uh, where I'm ending my journey, starting from here, Marol Naka. And uh, this is RA JVL, that's the last stop. Okay. This is an ambitious underground metro project in Mumbai designed to improve connectivity and reduce traffic congestion in the city. Once completed, it will be spanning 33.5 kilometers and uh, will connect key areas like Kulaba, Bandra and uh, Seeps, that is in Andheri, with 27 stations, of which 26 are underground. This will make it Mumbai's first fully underground metro line. Now you can see the train is almost empty because this is not fully operational now. Phase 1 of this project that we are exploring right now between Bandarkurla Complex, BKC and RAJVLR was inaugurated in October 2024, that is last month, with operations beginning shortly after. The remaining sections, including links to South Mumbai, are expected to be operational by mid-2025. And first, now I reach my destination, Bandra Kurla Complex, BKC. Now I am entering the platform of uh, Bandra Kurla Complex, BKC. And of course, uh, elevators are also available for those uh, who don't want to walk up. But uh, I really enjoy this. Of course, they made this platform so beautiful and uh, spacious enough to manage a large number of people. At present, only the first phase has been completed and fully operational now. The rest of them will have completed. Uh, according to the reports by May 2025 next year. And plus uh, these photographs give insights into the various stages of the construction work happening currently. It's a very fabulous. See how difficult it is. Now so this is the tunneling work happening currently and, uh, and various other stages of this construction work you can clearly understand by looking at these photographs. It's very arduous journey so far, and you can uh, see these various stages of construction work here. And uh, of course, the workers' contribution here is immeasurable. Their dedication, technical skills, and perseverance have been central to the project's success. Skilled laborers and engineers work tirelessly to operate tunnel boring machines, excavating through Mumbai's densely populated uh, and geologically complex areas. Managing the risks of uh, cave ins and uh, maintaining precision under difficult conditions required exceptional effort. Now I am in the elevator going up. I have finally reached uh, BKC Bandakula Pamblas. The biggest is uh, one end of this phase one, the other end is uh, RA JVLR. Now I am entering the highly polluted and uh, highly congested uh, roads of Mumbai. Now I am entering BKC Bandra Kurla Complex. It's one of India's most iconic business districts today, but its origins tell a fascinating story of uh, urban planning and transformation. The area where BKC stands was once a marshy, undeveloped land with little economic significance. Its development was a visionary project aimed at addressing Mumbai's growing commercial needs and reducing congestion in South Mumbai. It was so wonderful, it was so wonderful exploring this Mumbai's first underground metro line, also called Aqua Line. Uh, it's been developed uh, in three phases, I think. Uh, the first phase has been completed and open to public that we just explored 
and the second and third phases will be done in the next year 2025 so now we are heading to our next place so uh, our next destination so this is Banda Kula Kambles, where I am right now from here I am going to take a bus to Banda station and from Banda station to the other railway station from the other railway station to CST okay and this is Banda Kula Kambles. Banda Kula Kambles is a central, bomb, uh, central business district in the city of Mumbai and uh, I have a detailed video of uh, this particular place and if you want to know more details of my BKC Bandra Kula Complex, please check out my previous videos. This is Bandra Kula Complex. That place because it's where most of the Mumbai's uh, uh, corporate houses and uh, financial institutions are located. It just developed considerably over the past couple of decades and now it's one of the most premium localities in Mumbai. So now I am at uh, Bandra station, railway station. And, uh, this is the other railway station, the other, and uh, the, one of the most congested and uh, uh, crowded railway stations in Mumbai. And now uh, finally I reached uh, CST Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus railway station. So this uh, railway station was originally named Victoria Terminus. And it is an iconic railway station and it was uh, designed by the British architect Frederick William Stevens and completed in 1888. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a bustling hub that connects Mumbai to various parts of India. Because, uh, from CSC station I came to this marketplace called uh, Kaffa Market, now officially known as Mahatma Jodiba Phule Market. Yes, Mahatma Jodiba Phule Market. And uh, this is the most crowded and iconic marketplace in Mumbai. Especially during Christmas and New Year, it becomes super crowded and bustling. That you can clearly see, right? That you can clearly see right now. But I came here because I just wanted to know whether this market is ready to welcome Christmas and New Year yet. Because Christmas is just three weeks away, and uh, I'm totally flabbergasted. This is, market is absolutely ready to welcome Christmas. As you can see, various Christmas decorations and various lightings and uh, other various types of decorations, including Santa Claus here, I'll show you. Now I entered the street uh, at Kaffa Market called uh, Lohar Chal. This land is especially popular for Christmas and New Year decorations. You can see all these are for Christmas and New Year. See all these decorative items hanging here. All types of stars and uh, all types of various uh, things you can understand this is the lower char street at cafe market it's a very famous especially during christmas and new year you can see all these decorative items for the flowers all these are artificial flowers and uh, you know see this very popular marketplace these are the flowers very flowers and uh, Christmas trees, you can see the Christmas trees here. All these are artificial, not uh, original. All these are Christmas trees. And uh, I'll show you. There are so many hundreds and hundreds of decorative items here, including lightings and uh, so many things you can see here. This is uh, artificial candles. This is a candle. Artificial is kidna, bhaiya? Kidna is kya? Hey, candle kidna kya? Huh? Yeah, dead Yeah, 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 wala. Yeah, two fifty. Two fifty, yeah. Electronic, yeah, na? Light. Cell wala. Cell wala, na? These are not original candles, but artificial. So beautiful. As a. As you see, there are so many items here. The flowers are so beautiful. And uh, there are some other items for Christmas. Oh, this is our Christmas. Here, yeah, this one, Santa. Here, you get to see the Santa Claus. And uh, there are so Santa, big and small Santas everywhere. You can see the gown here, Santa gown. And uh, these are Christmas trees. 
Christmas and all this stuff for Christmas. See how beautiful. Here is the Merry Christmas. Beautiful Santa Claus, yeah. The small figures of Santa Claus, yeah. Toys. And uh, it's the figures of Jesus Christ and uh, Mother Mary, and uh, various uh, figures of this. Uh, Jesus Christ and Mother Mary. And uh, angels, of course. Wonderful. So of course, I just want to show you the crowd here. See how crowded it is. This is a super crowded street, super crowded market in Mumbai. Kafu market or Jodiba, Magna Jodiba play market. It's super crowded. Here you can see the, the, the huge, one huge Santa Claus. Yes, the one huge Santa Claus. Yeah, there are some other decorative items here, trees and uh, various things. After this is the one shop shop a destination for everything Christmas and everything Christmas and New Year. People flock to this place uh, from various corners of Mumbai during this time. And uh, of course, this already crowded marketplace becomes super crowded during this time of the year. And uh, also now means to come to this area during this occasion, Christmas and New Year. So I want to show you a little bit more about this market. At first, uh, Crawford Market uh, is one of Mumbai's oldest and uh, most iconic markets. Located in the heart of Mumbai, near Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus CST, it has been a bustling hub of commerce since its inception establishment in 1869. Its blend of uh, colonial architecture and vibrant local culture makes it a must-visit destination for both locals and tourists. And uh, the market's stunning architecture, designed by William M. Mason, features a mix of Norman and Flemish styles with a stacking clock tower, clock tower and arched entrance. That's all for today. I'm signing off. I'll see you next Friday, 5.45 p.m. Till then, goodbye. Thank you so much. Thanks so, so much for your support.